Ivan yeah, Manjil uh, after a 2-1 victory over Banbury. Uh, Lee, before we start, um, Joe was stretched off. Um, can you just tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, mate, it looks a bad one. Um, I'll be honest with you, I'd be probably surprised if he plays again this season. Um, sort of been caught by the lad, not malicious at all, just trying to block a tackle and he sort of blocked his foot and it's gone underneath him. And I think it's going to be quite a bit of damage, mate. And once he goes to hospital, he's gone to hospital now, I get an x ray. Hopefully it ain't too bad, but yeah, from what I'm seeing, how I see it went underneath him, it could be a real bad one, mate. So um, we'll find out obviously tonight, tomorrow morning, how bad it is, and then, uh, then take it from there, mate. How do you think that'll impact our season? Yeah, massively. The, the, the kid's top goal scorer, and he's been fantastic. And I can't say a bad word about the lad. To be honest with you, ever since we've had him, he's been uh, he's been magnificent. But it gives a little man Brooksy an opportunity now that he's been craving for. Uh, and as you've seen there, he's going to got the winner, and that's what he does. Brooks, he sticks the ball in the back of the net, so he's got a chance now of a run in the side. The yeah, first half started with two relatively early goals. Uh, how would you find the first half? I thought we started really well. I thought we played really well first half. Um, I felt that we probably had the better chances. Obviously, we've gone one nil up, and then uh, Joe's had a great chance. The lads made a great block, literally got straight up the other end and scored. Um, I think they had one more chance after that. Um, and then we had Joe again, another one-on-one, -on -one, the keep was made to save. Um, wasn't a great deal in, in, in the first half, I felt we played well. Um, and then obviously got in at half-time and just made sure we had to keep going and, and working and for, for chances, um, which we've done in the second half as well. Yeah, ben Wallstar, you talked about him the last few weeks, saying he deserves to be in the side, but it's really difficult. Uh, today started, what was different about today then? No, I just had a chat with Jack and he's just been feeling his back a little bit. Um, and he's really honest, Jack, which I appreciate because a lot of players myself included back in the day, you know, I want to play for anything and, and Jack wanted to play but he didn't feel quite right and he felt it was right to go with Benny um, and, that, and that's the luxury of having three very, very good fullbacks at this level. Um, so Benny slotted in there no problem and, and toss up now for Wednesday who plays out, out of the three of them. The second half we managed to grab an extremely late winner, um, how did you find the second half? It feels good to, to get a late winner, mate. I've got to be honest with you. We haven't had any this season. Obviously, we got the late one against um, uh, St. Neils, but that wasn't a winner. Um, so to get that today feels good. It's happened three or four times against us this year. Uh, I felt the second half was pretty much a non-event, really. Two teams going at it, but not really creating a great deal either side. They've had probably one chance where LP's got back, made a great tackle, and we've not really had a chance. But listen, at the end of the day, that's football. We kept going, we kept grinding, we got a corner, and we've taken our chance from there. And you know, credit to the boys for keep working hard. And you know, it's a hard place to come here. Lost once since October. Um, so we'll take that today and, and, and dust ourselves down and go again next week. And what does it mean for our playoff? Yeah. Listen, it just keeps us in a mood of shout. You know, we're not expecting anything. It's been a fantastic season, I said to you before. Yeah, take one game at a time. Um, next week we're at home. Might not perform, might perform. You know, we'll see how we are. Uh, but firstly, we've got a really big game on Wednesday and we'll take it forward from there. Uh, and Wednesday, you just mentioned it. Uh, can you tell us about this? It's a, it's a massive game. It's my first tr uh, game as a manager in terms of a cup final. I want to win it. The players want to win it. We're going full strength to win it. Um, but we're going to come up against a really hard working Barton side. I know Yellow well. Um, it'll get his team working extremely hard. And this will be a really hard game on Wednesday. Um, it's a cup final. And as I say, we've got to be our very best if we want to win this game. Is Liam Brooks. Does he start, you think? Well, it looks that way, mate. Yeah, no, it looks that way. I've just said to him there, he's, he, as I say, he's been patient this year. He's gone out on loan. He could have he could have moved um, probably a month ago. He could have left and he stuck with it. Um, he lost his place last week to Claudio, which was probably unfair. But he's got his chance today. And listen, Brooks, he's Brooks. You put him in front of the goal, he sticks the ball in the back of the net. And he's got an opportunity now to go and show what he can do in the next uh, six games. Thank you. Cheers, mate.